though major depression affects more than 21 million Americans, many people have trouble understanding exactly how it affects someone and what causes it. One common misunderstanding is that depression only occurs when something bad happens to a person, like a death in the family or the loss of a job. While these events can trigger a depressive episode, oftentimes major depression develops in an individual without any preceding specific event. Let's examine the false notion that depression is simply a nasty case of the blues. Many studies show that depression is caused in part by an imbalance of the neurotransmitters in your brain. These neurotransmitters, namely serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, influence our moods and help the brain transmit information, thoughts, and feelings. Research also suggests that the neurons in the brain of depressed people don't adapt and grow the same way that they do in non-depressed people. Furthermore, MRIs have revealed that there are physical differences between the brains of depressed and non-depressed people, but there's more research needed to strengthen these theories. These discoveries dispel the myth that depressed people should be able to force themselves to be happy. To correct these neurological and chemical brain glitches and get relief from their symptoms, people with major depression usually need to start and often stay with antidepressants and psychotherapy. That leads me to another myth. Major depression doesn't just go away on its own. Don't ever wait for this to happen. Untreated depression may lead to cognitive problems, memory loss, and even physical problems such as headaches and digestive disorder. And suicide is more likely if depression is left untreated. In fact, major depression is the top risk factor for suicide in the elderly. Along with psychotherapy, antidepressants help depressed people manage their symptoms. But they're also at the center of a common myth that they somehow erase essential parts of an individual's personality. A 2009 study out of Northwestern University shows that the medications do change personality, but in a good way. In the study, they found that the antidepressant increased the positive emotions in participants and decreased neuroticism and introversion, which are related to depression. This brings me to another myth. Antidepressants are often erroneously thought of as happy pills. In reality, these medications aren't picker-uppers. They don't instantly transform a sad person into a peppy, cheerful one. What they do is normalize chemical imbalances in the brain. Bleak moods, out of proportion to what's going on, can subside. And with lifestyle changes and psychotherapy, the person can take on life's ever-changing good and bad events.